Hey guys, it's your boy Jack and I'm back in the video and today, if y'all can ask me for the title of the video, I'm here with my college experience. So with that being said, key to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So in today's video, I'm just basically going to be talking to you guys about my college experiences and what's happened over my past three years of college. So if you guys did not know, I'm in my third year of college and I have spent all three years at the Kennesaw State University. And yeah, that's why I had the shirt. If you guys did not know, fun fact, I do go to Kennesaw State University. So if you guys see me around, say what's up. And yeah, I've been at the school for the past three years. Hence my shirt. This shirt is my shirt that I got my freshman year, actually. It says protect the nest. You know, Kennesaw State University's colors are like black gold yellow goldish and white so you know what i'm saying we got my KSU repping you know what i'm saying i rep my school you know what i'm saying shout out to kansas state university you know what i'm saying hooly hoo and yeah so i spent all three years at kansas state university starting from my first year to my third year and the reason why i'm not going to be saying like freshman sophomore junior senior year is because i'm gonna be completely honest i don't even know what i am because you guys will understand once y'all get into college the credits work differently so there'll be people who are in their first year of college and they could be considered a sophomore so that's what i'm saying it just gets kind of complicated you guys will understand when y'all get to college so it's basically why I'm going by years, like my first year, second year, third year, I'm in my third year. I just finished my third year, so I'm about to go into my fourth year. But yeah, that's just basically a whole complicated stance. And if you guys want to know more about that, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, just basically, once you get to college, it doesn't really matter about what grade you are. It's just like your first year, second year, because you're in college. Sometimes it takes four years to graduate. Sometimes it takes three, sometimes even five, six. It's just, you know, when you get to college, you know, it's not about the, the class, it's just, whenever you graduate. I hope that made sense, but moving on. So going back to my freshman year, um, I was class of 2019. I graduated high school in class of 2019. So I had my first semester in college that fall 2019. And yeah, everything was going well. Freshman year was all fun and stuff. And then bam, COVID. So COVID took away basically two, my, like basically my second year and some change. It's basically COVID fucked me. COVID basically took a lot of my college experience away. So um, this story goes back to my freshman year, like I'm saying, because I'm in my third year, and I'm just gonna basically tell you what my mindset was. So my first year at Kennesaw, everyone's first year at each college is going to be a rough transition because it's not an easy transition because you go from high school to where everything is va like you're babied. Everything is hand given to you. You are babied. You are told to do this, when to do this, all that stuff. Once you go to college, you don't have that. So basically, what I'm trying to say is get ready. And you know what can help you out? So basically, um, <clears throat> I do work for the school. So if y'all do go to these events, y'all will see me there. But basically, I work with First Flight and Our Expeditions at Kennesaw State University. And basically, it is where first year students go and basically are helped ease into the transition from going from high school to college because it's a big transition so with first flight it's basically i think it's like a couple of days or maybe two weeks i don't remember specifically but basically you go and live on campus for i think it's two weeks and you just basically get the lifestyle and you take a class and you just basically you go meet friends take a class get an easy credit Bam, easy. So y'all should join and y'all will see me there. And our expedition is basically where it's like three days, two nights. Uh, it might be a little different. I don't have the full details yet, but basically it's just where you go and you meet friends, you bond, all that fun stuff. So basically you can have like some friends going to college so you don't go into college just blindly. And like, cause let's be real, making friends is kind of hard. So our expedition helps you make friends before you start college. And fun fact, I actually went to our expedition my freshman year and I have no regrets. Y'all should definitely check it out if y'all are interested in it because I really would say that really helped me ease my transition into college. We didn't have first flight my like first year going in. I think that was just recently added last year. But basically, I, if, if it was there, I probably would have done it because I'm be honest, first flight and our expedition will help you out because it's gonna help you ease the transition, help you have a little friend group going into school. Cause like, let's be real, y'all don't wanna go to the dining hall and sit alone. You know what I mean? Unless you like that, unless you like that. Me personally, 
I would rather go to the dining hall, chill with friends, eat with friends, study with friends, all that fun stuff. So basically what I'm trying to say is just check out First Flight and Alex Edition. If you guys want to learn more, just comment down below and I'll do my best to get more information for y'all. And like I said, you guys will be seeing me there. So I hope to see y'all there. And if you guys do see me there, say what's up. Like, and if I see y'all there and you guys ain't subscribed, I'm gonna be a little upset. So let's take a moment to just pause and hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I hope to see y'all there at First Flight and Alex Edition. Okay, but back to the story. Um, if I didn't have Alex Edition, I wouldn't have the, some of the friends I have now because I'm gonna be honest, the only people I still talk to from my freshman year are friends that I made from our expedition. And I hope I did a good enough job explaining first line our expedition. If not, just let me know and I'll do another video because stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing a lot of college videos because no offense, I know these college videos get me some views and I'm trying to like get some views, get my views up, get some more subscribers, you know what I'm saying? So just let me know down below. But like, yeah, like some examples, stay tuned. I have a move out day, a move in day. Um, more college advice, um, all that fun stuff, because this, this is my college experience. So I, I know we've been a little off task this video, but let's get back to let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. But going back to my freshman year, my first half was normal without COVID, and then bam, COVID hit, and then we got kicked off of campus. Um, that left a sour mouth in my mouth. I remember like when we got kicked out of school, um, I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm done with Kansas. I'm about to go, I'm transferring, fuck this school. I was like, I didn't like the way they handled the situation, all that stuff. But at that time, I didn't realize, I was like, dang, no one really knew how to handle COVID. Cause it was just like out of nowhere and it just happened. And it is what it is, you know, shit happens. So with that being said, like I was, I, I did not want to be there. So when I went back to school, I took summer classes and everything was online. I hate online classes. I hate, it was just, oh, I hate online classes because it's just like teachers give you so much work. They, like, it doesn't make sense. Online classes, the teachers give you more work than in normal classes. It, make it make sense. But yeah, basically it was just like, I hated it here. I had no friends because like all my friends, like I made freshman year were fake. Um, that's another thing I'm going to tell y'all real quick. There's going to be a lot of fake people that y'all encounter with and that's just life. Don't be too caught up. If people don't want to hang out with you or they want to, you know, use you, set your boundaries and just know like there's going to be that friend group that's going to like you. Like there's so many people that go to Kansas State University. Not everyone here has to like you. It is what it is. Those people at Kansas State that hate me, they're probably going to dislike this video and talk shit about me. But it is what it is. That's just college. I know it's way easier said than done, but just know there's going to be friend groups that like you and friend groups that hate you and the friend groups that use you. So just set your boundaries and, you know, just know who you are. The main, the most important thing to know is that just be yourself and know who you are and you'll be all right. In college, there's a lot of people who want to use you or use other people to get to where they want to be and basically, essentially, just be fake. Um, you will come across a lot of those, but then you also come across a lot of genuine people. So you just got to be picky with who you choose to be friends and all that fun stuff. And just be careful because, you know, have fun, but be safe and make sure school comes first. But yeah, back to my freshman year, I had a lot of fake friends, you know what I mean? And like, I was like, oh, we're going to be friends, all that stuff. And after that, I never talked to them again. I never, like, I see them. Every time I see them, I'm like, oh, what's good? Dap them up, you know what I mean? Um, but that's it. It would never be like, oh, you're trying to hang out type of stuff. Um, so I was like, again, I felt alone. I didn't want to be here. Um, I felt like the school was against me. I felt like the world was against me. Um, and let's be real, it really wasn't Kennesaw State University's fault. It was mostly COVID's fault. Let's be real, COVID messed up a lot of things for everyone. And me personally, I felt like COVID took years for my college experience and I was butthurt I'm not gonna lie I was butthurt because I was like college is supposed to be the time of my life and I was like damn I'm here depressed worried about money worried about what I'm gonna do failing my classes I was struggling um if you guys want a more in-depth video of me and COVID and just how I dealt with everything let me know down below but yeah I was depressed I was in a very very bad state of mind um so yeah I my saw going into my sophomore year um, I started the semester with five classes and I ended with two I shot myself in the leg I shot myself back um, but at that point I did not want to be in school no more um, I was like I'm done with school I don't want to be here I'm not having fun um, I'm not making friends and this is terrible I hate it here um, I was like fuck Kennesaw not only was I saying fuck Kennesaw I was saying Fuck school in general. I didn't want to do school no more. 
I didn't see a point because you guys know my dream. My dream is to be a successful YouTuber because I just love to entertain people and make people laugh and smile. And I felt like with school, work, and YouTube, I couldn't do all three. So I decided to drop school because since, since school was causing me the most stress and most struggle, I decided to, do, I decided to work full time and do YouTube full time. Um, and that was okay until I got overworked. <laughs> I got way overworked and I hated my job because there was so much unnecessary drama and I was being way overworked for the amount of money I was getting paid. I wasn't getting paid enough for the amount I deserved. And I was like, bruh, you know what? I'm gonna go back to school. Fuck this shit. I can't work in nine to five yet. Not yet. Like, let me, let me, let me try school on YouTube and then come back. So I was like, you know what? I'm quitting school. I went back to school my summer semester and it went well. I went back. I got, took three classes got two A's and got a B, made the Dean's List, and yeah, I was excited to start my third year. Going into my third year, I was freshly renewed. I, I took my gap semester. I really needed that gap. I'm gonna be honest, that gap took me, like, I learned a lot, because like, I wanted, to, I wanted to crank out videos, but I couldn't because I was too busy at work. So I was like, you know what? Fuck, fuck work. I will worry about money somehow, some other way. And I was gonna be a full-time student and a full-time YouTuber. And I'm not gonna lie, that was probably the best decision I have ever made in my life. I know that school sometimes takes up a lot of my time, but I'm still able to make content for y'all. And especially going to my higher major classes, I am more excited because these classes are actually fun and stuff that I want to do. And if you guys don't know, I am a media entertainment major and I'm a film minor. And I'm also thinking about picking up another major. And if I do, I will let y'all know. If I don't, yeah, the world will never know. But yeah, so if you guys want more details about me being a communications major, um, fun fact, I like, I like how some people will say that communication is one of the easiest majors. Y'all just mad y'all want to do something else that involves more work. Just don't be jealous. Stop being a hater. But no, I would say if, you, if this is what you want to do, follow your dreams, bro. Um, and for all them students that go into college without have, knowing what they want to do, Take your time. College is where you want to find what you want to do. Your first two years of college basically are taking your core classes, which are basically the math, science, language arts, or I don't know why I said language arts, English and history. Those are just basically your core classes. Those are the core classes you take your freshman year. You don't really get into your major classes until your third and fourth year. So with that being said, just go to college, have fun, and like, don't worry if you guys don't know what you wanna do yet. You guys have time to figure that out. Going back to my third year, I'm gonna be honest, this past year was probably my best year, my favorite year I've had. Like, I'm so thankful for all the memories I've created, all the friends I've made. Um, the third year of my college year was basically felt like my what my freshman year should have been. Basically, my third year of college basically felt what like my first year should have been. Um, I went into college again, and I felt renewed after I took my gap. I just felt like a new me, I was excited to be here. Um, my first, my, my first went to college back in 2019. I, I'm be honest, I only came to college because, let's be real, I'm Asian. If I didn't go to college, my parents would disown me. So, I had to go. That was a big reason why I was, I hated it here. I didn't want to be here. At first, I was doing it for my family. I wasn't doing it for myself. I was going to college for my family, and that's why I was so miserable. I hated being here. I was struggling with classes. I didn't want to learn. I was just like, man, fuck this shit. I'm just gonna bullshit and just get by. And that kind of bit me in the ass. But it's just like, I didn't want to be here. I wasn't motivated. This wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to do YouTube full time. Um, but, you know, things happen. And like I said, it got even worse with COVID. I was like, but fuck school. I should be relaxing, making videos. Cause during COVID, I felt like a lot of people blew up. And that's the time I felt like I should have been like, dang, I should be blowing up too. But that's not my journey. Um, basically what happened, I was just, I got more depressed and it made me hate school even more. So when I took my gap semester, I got refreshed. I learned that I'm like, no, you know what? This real life shit. I don't want to do this yet. I'm going to go back to school. Because at that time, I was still only like 19, 20. And I was like, you know what? This ain't it. I'm going to go back to school. And going back to school is probably one of my best decisions I made. Um, like, I'm only 21, too. And it's so crazy. Like, I don't know. Uh, me and my friend, Chris, we talk about this all the time. We felt like we lost so many years because of COVID. And it's like, we just have to make up for lost time. So starting my third year of college was just the best time of my life. 
I made my friend group, Chris and Kyle. Um, we made so much memories since then. And then we just expanded the friend group to add more friends, had so many memories. We got, I got to meet Spice Adams. Um, I had like, like going to Kennesaw State University, um, basically my third year made me fall in love with this campus even more. The reason why I chose Kennesaw State University over Georgia State or Georgia Southern was because I loved this campus. I loved how it made me feel at home as soon as I stepped on it and I just knew this was my home. This college has had its ups and downs with me but I'm going to end on the bang at Kennesaw State University. I was like, oh, maybe I should transfer to UGA. Maybe I should follow my parents' path on what they want me to do. No, this is my journey. This is my path. I told my sister that. I told her, because I told her, I was like, you know, I, might go, I might transfer to UGA. And I told her like a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a couple months ago, I was like, I'm, I'm going to stay at Kennesaw State University. Um, she's like, wow, you can do so much more at UGA. And I told her, this is my story, this is my path. I wanna follow my path, I don't wanna follow yours. I don't wanna to listen to what our parents want my path to be. This is my journey and this is my path. And I cannot be happy at my decision. I made such an amazing friend group. This past year alone, I made so much progress. Like, I hit a thousand subscribers within this past year. I, I hit it around November. I don't remember the exact date, but I hit a thousand subscribers. We have been slowly growing since then. Um, I'm doing what I love, and that's making content for y'all. I'm doing great in school. For the first time in my life, I got all A's, so I'm proud of myself for that. Um, it's just like I'm having the time of my life right now, doing what I want to do, uh, making content for y'all in school, and enjoying my time. I'm enjoying myself. I'm happy with who I am. I'm happy with the man I've become. Um, don't, don't get me wrong. I am upset that COVID took away a lot of my time, but... I'm gonna be completely honest, without COVID and all the time that I took to myself, I would not be the man I am now. So basically what I'm trying to say is in life, uh, with the good comes the bad, but everything in your life happens for a reason and that helps shape who you are. So basically though, my first three years at Kennesaw State University, my experiences were not the best, but my third year, made me love the school it made me realize why i wanted to come here in the first place and basically i got to like remember why i chose the school remember everything and like this past year was the year i wanted it like it to start off with i know it didn't start off my first year but it doesn't matter i still got here and i enjoyed this third year and this probably was like my best year here um i love every single moment of it i love the friends i made um all the drama that's happened all the good stuff that's happened, all the things we did, like we did so much, bro. I rode a roller coaster for my first time in my life. Like, come on, that's, man, we out here. And you know, I just wanna be more involved in this campus and that's exactly why I chose to work for Kennesaw State University. I chose to be a, a extended orientation leader. That's what I was talking about, first flight and our expedition. So I better see y'all there. If y'all stayed this over there, I better see y'all there. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely give y'all more information on that, about that. But yeah, just know if y'all see me around here, I'll say university, say what's up. I'll say what's up back. Um, but if you do say what's up and you ain't subscribed, we might have to fight. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's probably been all over the place, but yeah, stay tuned for more college videos because I'm gonna be dropping a couple more of those. And yeah, comment down below what you guys are most excited for for college. Or if you guys are in college, comment down below what your favorite experience has been so far that you've experienced. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, share, and your boys out. <gasps> Shit, I look good.